Hey guys, it's me, Bagrush, and today I'm going to show a gaming PC build for $1,000 for this holiday season. This is going to be the best PC build you can do for $1,000 that will let you play just about every game you throw at it maxed out. You can easily play these games at 1080p, and for some older games like Saints Row 4, Battlefield 3, and Far Cry 3, you should be able to run maxed out perfectly with this system. This is an excellent PC to have for at least the next few years in terms of graphics cards. Remember that this PC is upgradable, so you can always add on to this system. That being said, let's get started with the build. For the processor, I chose the AMD FX8350. This is an 8-core processor clocked at 4 GHz and is actually very easy to overclock. This is an octa-core processor, and it's recommended for games like Battlefield 4 that take use of the 8-core design. More games in the future will be moving up to extra cores, so this is an excellent processor to get started with. The 8 cores is also useful if you plan on doing any video editing, because the extra cores can really boost performance in that area. The FX8350 will run you about $200. For motherboard, I chose the Gigabyte GA990FXAUD3. This is an amazingly good motherboard for this build, as it comes with all the extras you'll need in a motherboard. It has four RAM slots, which is useful if you ever want to add a bit more RAM in the future, eight USB 2 ports, two USB 3 ports, and a very well-made BIOS. This is overall an amazingly solid motherboard with a bunch of extras for around $140. For the graphics card, I chose the 2GB Gigabyte GeForce GTX 770. This card is absolutely amazing, simply because a single graphics card can run just about anything you throw at it with very good setting. As an added bonus, you also get 3 free games with it, Batman Arkham Origins, Splinter Cell Blacklist, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag. For those who do want a little bit more out of graphics card, there is a 4GB version of this card available for about $50 more. The extra upgrade is also good if you plan on modding Skyrim because the extra gigabytes in the graphics card make it run a little bit faster. I'll leave a link in the description for the upgrade if you want to go that route. The 2GB Gigabyte GeForce GTX 770 will run you about $340. Memory is rather simple, so it went two 4 gb sticks of G-Skill Rip Jaws X-Series DDR3 RAM. Created 1833 MHz, which is plenty for your games and some multitasking. RAM prices are slowly going down again, so you can get two 4 gb sticks for around $70. Now there's two different types of storage on this PC. The first is an SSD. An SSD is one of the best additions you can add to a build, as it can boot up your OS quicker and can store a few things that you want to run faster. The SSD that I chose is a 120GB Kingston HyperX 3K drive. It offers great performance for a 120GB SSD, and it comes in around $90. For a hard drive, I'm going with the 1TB Western Digital Caviar Blue. A terabyte is plenty of space for your games, movies, music, pictures, and it should be a great fit for your storage needs. The Caviar Blue comes in around $60. Once again, the power supply is the most important part of any build, because you need power to run your system. Never be cheap with the power supply as it runs everything. Make sure you pick a good quality supply over a good sale price. My recommendation is the Corsair 750 watt power supply. It's 80 Bros Bronze certified, which means it's a high quality power supply, and it can actually help you lower the power bill. You can get this for around $80. Now, the optical drive on this PC really isn't needed unless you want a Blu-ray drive, and unless you use CDs, the only thing you're going to be using it for is to install the OS. I just went with the cheap, reliable reader and burner which has a light on. It's simple and basic, and only runs you about $17. Now, you can always upgrade to a Blu-ray drive if you want to put in an extra $40, and I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go that route. Finally is the case. Now, once again, this is where personal opinion or general cheapness comes in. A case can be what you show off to everyone, or you just put it in your desk and forget about it. Keep this build moderately cheaper, but still have some extras at with the NZXT Source 210. This is a good quality case that has a simple style and holds everything together with some pretty good airflow. It's your build, so do whatever you want in terms of the case, but if you just want a cheap, reliable one, you can get this for around $40. Well, there you go, guys. This is my guide for a $1,000 PC that should be an amazing PC that you can upgrade whenever the time comes. Now, the prices of these do change often, so I'll be leaving a link in the description to PCPerpicker.com. That's a website where you can build your PC online and see the lowest prices for the components that you need. Well, that's it for this video, guys. So if you like this video and you want to see some more of them, click on the like button. I have two other builds available, one for a $500 PC and one for a $750 PC. Click on the links in the video if you want to see some more information about them. If you enjoy my videos, you can click here to subscribe to my channel. It really does help me out and it shows me that you want to see some more of my builds. I'll see you guys in my next video, and I hope you have a happy holidays.